welcome to another very exciting and amazing tutorial. Today we are gonna make this super jump effect right inside the after effect. So let's get started. I drag this footage into the new comp button so that will create a new composition with the same footage setting. Now the first step first, we create the marker at the place where it begins to take off. So this, I think, uh, yeah, this is the point. So what we are going to do is, I have renamed this by uh, reference. Now we are going to duplicate this. So press ctrl D to duplicate or edit duplicate so at that point my character uh, begins uh, begin to take off so uh, hit asterisk on the number pad to create a marker we recognize that this is the place where we have to create that effect so I'm going to split this footage into two separate footage so to do, uh, to do that, select the footage and uh, click on the edit split layer or you can use Control shift d or command shift d on the Mac. I am going to right click on that footage and choose time freeze frame. I am going to mask out my character at the point it starts to, ju it start to jump. So let's do some rotoscopy. I take that pen tool and uh, okay. I'm going very rough, so it will not, not uh, it will not take much time. Okay, here we uh, we are done. Uh, what we need is to create clean plate behind the character. So to do that, right click on that and choose pre-compose. Okay, move all attribute into the new form. Okay, double click on this footage and uh, duplicate. Okay, now the first copy we take, this is the right side. Okay, so we are keeping this portion of that footage. We are going to keep this portion of that footage. So let's name it by left. Okay. Now, what we are supposed to do is select the right one and mask this. Okay. Now. MM and uh, here is the mask one select to subtract and let's feather it out by say 20 pixel okay pretty good now this footage I already taken the clean plate shot at the end of this footage so let's jump right here at that point so we are freezing that left footage because there is no motion at this side so to do that choose left then right click on the layer and choose time freeze frame and then we are going to mask it out so let's take a pen tool okay here we go press F on the keyboard to open the mask property or especially feather now we are going to feather it out by 20 pixel okay we are done with this clean plate now jump over to the original comb this mask is very sharpened so let's feather it out by uh, say 5 pixel okay the 5 pixel so it looks very subtle so we are going to animate 
this layer with the Y position. So, to do that, select this layer and hit P on the keyboard. And go to the beginning of this layer and click this stopwatch on the position. And go forward with the 10 or 20 frames and lower down the Y value. Okay. So, oh, so we have some problem right there. So to do, okay. Here is our dust element. So let's take a look. Okay. So what we are going to do is, let's take this into the new comb. Sorry, into the current comb. And uh, let's first mask it out. Okay. And choose F to feather it out. Now select the transfer mode and choose screen. Okay, to fix this issue, we are going to remake this footage over time. To do that, right click on the footage or right click on this layer and choose time, enable time remapping. At this point, we are going to create new keyframe. So, click here and what we are supposed to do is we are bring this keyframe closer to the another one. Now for the ground crack I have another JPG file. Let's bring this photo into the into our com and uh, resize at the position where we want okay which look very fine choose transfer mode for this layer by overlay so it's look very nice let's resize this At this point of time, our jumper going to jump. So, let's trim this footage by this time and choose T for the opacity on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch. Go to the next frame and make another one. Again, go to the first one choose opacity to zero uh, we are supposed to create a new adjustment layer and name this by transform and there is an effect called transform drag this effect into the transform layer we are supposed to increase the scale value by 110% and what we are going to do is we are keyframing the position over the time uh, just hold down alt on the keyboard and choose this stopwatch now we are going to type an expression wiggle parentheses I think two times in a second the position value randomly moves about 10 pixels close parenthesis and hit enter so let's have a look so here we are done with our cool looking jumper effect i am milan meva thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video then do subscribe to this channel share with your friend we will meet next time with another exciting tutorial till then goodbye and thank you once again